S double Y, and welcome to my channel, Sky Explains It All. I have styled myself as if I am going to concerts back in the 90s. But am I the only person when someone says like 10 years ago, they think it's the 90s? And when someone says 20 years ago, they think it's the 80s? Like my sense of time just does not exist anymore. I was born in 93, so I was not old enough to go to concerts at that time, obviously. So yeah, this is kind of my way of like living out a dream if I could go back in time and be like in my late teens or 20s going to these concerts. So first off, I'm going to start with one of my favorite bands, Hole. Hole is one of those bands where I can't pick one favorite song. They're all good, but if I'm going to pick one of their like less talked about albums, I'll put it pretty on the inside. My favorite songs are Good Sister, Bad Sister, Clouds, obviously the title track Pretty on the Inside, and Baby Doll. So for the top, I chose this like crop satin top that has these like ribbon laces ribbon laces that have these ribbon straps and i'd pair that with this white slip skirt it has like this collage of cats on it very on brand with the whole kinder whore aesthetic and i've got myself a little cardigan here it's green with pink bow details on it and then for shoes, I of course had to have Mary Jane's Hello. I would pair those Mary Janes with some white socks with ruffles around the ankle. And then for the accessories, I picked a pair of baby doll head earrings. It could reference, you know, the whole baby doll song, but also like it does go back to the whole like kinder whore aesthetic. Kinder whore, like a brief explanation if you don't know what it is. I would say it's like childlike aesthetics meets like old 18th century aesthetics meets so I live by the metro and I don't want to have to stop talking every time the train goes by and there's literally nowhere else for me to film where I can get some sort of privacy and silence so I apologize for that noise in the background. So when you hear it, take a drink of water, stay hydrated. That is my gift from me to you. Huh. So back what I'm saying. So the Kinder Horse, it's like childlike elements mixed with like old 18th century, like vintage doll that's most definitely haunted that you see at Goodwill. And you see some kid take home and you're 100% certain that it's going to like smother their family in the middle of the night. And you're thinking to yourself, why did they even take that doll in the first place? It's very that mixed with like a cat lady. So I think that's like a total vibe that I have going on here. Now for my hair accessories, pick the pair of like rhinestone hair clips that have the word trash on them. So to finish everything up, I would have a heart, this heart shaped purse. Um, most of the things here are from Ashley Williams, like the cardigan, the top, the skirt, the bag, and the hair clips are from Ashley Williams. I'm not going to go into each specific brand I chose because like no one's giving me a check to mention them. But if I feel like I want to mention the brand, then I will. But if not, I'm not pressed about it. So I could not talk about Hole without talking about another great band that's one of my favorites. And that is Nirvana. Now Nirvana, I do have a specific favorite song and it's aneurysm at first i thought of going with like you know like a corduroy jacket and some like really 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 baggy pants and those like platform like converse but i'm like eh, it's a little too basic like, pretty too predictable so i went with a purple floral corset dress that's like all these like black piping going along it and underneath there's like this long sleeve mesh underlay and that's actually a part of the dress. It's not like an undershirt or anything. So a two for one. And then underneath the dress, I went with some black fishnet tights, specifically the ones that have like the smaller holes. Um, there is a difference. So from a distance, it almost looks like you're wearing regular tights. But when you get close up, you're like, oh, those are fishnets. And then over that, I would layer some, some black crew socks. And then I'd layer a bunch of silver necklaces over the dress. And I'd wear these like dagger earrings and a bunch of silver rings. And so to finish everything off, I would wear this Vivian Westwood crossbody bag. Now on to another band that is my fave, No Doubt. So for No Doubt, it'd be very colorful, very vibrant. So I went with this like 
white shirt that has this graphic design on it. I'm pretty, it says saddle up cowboy. And underneath I would layer like a mesh shirt with a bunch of different like floral details on it. Practicing two different designs on each side, which I think is really cool that kind of play into the shirt. And then I'd pair it with some like big white leg teal cargo pants to tie into the rest of the colors. And then I'd wear these like platform white sneakers that have like a graffiti design going over them. For accessories, I'd have this like, smiley face backpack. Again, very 90s. And a couple of necklaces. I want to have like this beaded necklace that has puka shells on it. Another is just like a typical like ball chain necklace and then a dog tag necklace. And then these earrings are really cute. They're like soda can. What? What's it called? Is that a soda can lid? Lid? Yeah, that, that thing's called a lid, right? And to finish everything up, I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself and like back and forth. I'm getting used to this because I grew up like a theater kid and all that jazz. So like looking into the camera is like so taboo to me. So I'm trying not to do it. And if I do it, please forgive me. And of course, I would not. I would not. I would not go without mentioning going to a concert to see the Spice Girls. Listen, y'all. Listen, listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. The love that I've had for Spice Girls ever since I was a child, I don't think anyone can begin to understand it. Like, I wish I had the pictures, but I had, you know, those platform sneakers. I'm not talking about like, you no, know, like the little platform like converse or anything like that i'm talking about the huge platform sketcher sneakers that were like this high oh i had some of those i was like in kindergarten rocking my platform sketcher sneakers because i wanted to be a spice girl and it's not even that i wanted to be a spice girl i knew that i was going to be a spice girl and i remember and if you remember this let me know in the comments when jerry ginger spice left the spice girls there was this show, I can't remember the name, but there was this show that came on MTV where they were looking for the next Spice Girl. And I kid you not, I would practice to become the next Spice Girl. I was getting my dance moves together, okay? And I'm pretty sure I wasn't even in first grade yet. I, I was no older than first grade. And I knew in my heart of hearts, I was going to be a Spice Girl. And you know what? I still think I'm going to be a Spice Girl because we can't let our dreams die. I have a name for what my Spice Girl name would be. And I thought about telling y'all, but the way the internet is set up, too many people like to Columbus people's ideas. So I'm just going to keep that to myself until the time comes where I can utilize it. So for the outfit, I picked this like white cropped top to wear underneath this short sleeve green shirt from Miss Behave. I wore this super shiny like vinyl skirt that has this like lace detail going up the front on both sides. And then you know it's a Spice Girl concert so I have to come through with the platform sneakers. So I have these platform sneakers here that have like all these different like rainbow heart details and rainbow shoelaces. And if you remember, I the the bubble backpacks from back in the 90s. I'd have one of those in pink. And then you remember the jelly bracelets that had like, literally there was like some sort of like clear liquid on the inside of them and like a bunch of glitter and stuff. I would wear those. And I know you're probably sitting here like, why is there thread in this? And the reason why there is thread in this is because that is my hair accessory. You know how Scary Spice, she would have to wear her space cones, not buns. Everyone wants to always call them space buns. They're not space buns, okay? They're not shaped like a bun. They are a cone shape, okay? And I'd have my space cones, and around my space cones, instead of the gold that, like, she has, I'd wear the green. And she actually did that one time, too, in one of her outfits, which is one of my favorites. Okay? I'd be, like, an honorary Spice girl in the audience. Oh, so while we're on girl groups, you know who I have to go to. Destiny's Child. I'm talking about OG Destiny's Child. So what I wear at a Destiny's Child concert, I gotta make sure that I can still be comfortable to, you know, do like a one-two step or something, you know, but still be cute. 
would have definitely wear like this floral halter top then i pair that with some like cropped black pants and i don't know if you can notice but at the bottom leg of the pant like it's like slits and there's rhinestone details going where the slits where the slit is cut at which is really cute i wear this like gemstone like waist belt to, you know add more bling Remember we used to say bling bling? That used to be a thing. Wasn't that? That was a song too. It was like something, 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 bling, bling. Was that Chingy? I think that was Chingy. But that's 2000s. Anyway, I'd wear that. And then I'd wear a pair of yellow mule sandals to complement the top. I'd wear this bag by GCDs. And you know I have to wear some hoops with like with diamonds in them. Do you guys remember those like those sunglasses? The hat came in different colors and they had like the rhinestone heart on them. I would wear those. Now I remember I had a pair in pink, purple, that's my favorite color, and a pair in blue. And so with these, I'd have those ones that kind of transition to a different color. So for these, it would like start off at the top in purple. And then as you went down, it would be yellow. Pretty much, no, not a lot of these. Pretty much all of these outfits that I put together they would fit into today's like style like you wouldn't look out of place which is really creepy and crazy and cool how cyclical fashion is and next we gotta talk about our miss britney jean spears oh my god i would have passed out if i went to a britney spears concert in the 90s so britney spears y'all don't understand like her along with the spice girl artist that I had my first CDs from. I'd wear this, like this, I'd wear this baby blue ribbed turtleneck top. And ideally it'd be one of those that have like the iridescent sparkles on it. And then also a pair of wide leg leather pants and these large chunky platform sandals that are like glittery and so 90. And this brand, if this isn't the brand soda, this would 100% be a pair of sandals by that brand soda. You guys remember that? I completely forgot about the brand until I was like looking for stuff for this video. And then I saw the brand. I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot about soda. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Soda, the, the brand, they had like, anyway, it's not important. Moving on. Now for my hair, I'd wear a bunch of like iridescent that give off the like kind of like blue-ish color, but they're not quite blue. Butterfly clips all throughout my hair. Now you know I had butterfly clips. I remember my mom would like twist my hair. For most kids' moms, I'm sure, would like twist their hair and then you have your butterfly clips. That was actually my hairstyle I wore for my kindergarten graduation. Where I wore some earrings because I'm always wearing earrings. I'm an earrings gal. I don't like not wearing earrings. So I'd have on a pair of stud diamond earrings. You already know I need to have a toe ring. So boom bada boom, got a toe ring. And my bag would actually be a caboodle. I'm sure I probably would have like bedazzled it. Maybe I would have put some stickers on it, you know, that sort of thing. And caboodles, I remember when I was so happy when I was old enough to get my own caboodle. I didn't get one until like the early... 2000s because late 90s I don't think my mom would have been letting me like wear like eyeshadow and shimmer and all that stuff so I got one I remember in the early 2000s and I was geeked and caboodles people use them for carrying their makeup in or purses and then to finish everything off you know I'm sure I would have like a bunch of glitter like a bunch of body glitter on I'm sure I would have like you know that super super shimmery silver eyeshadow next we are going to black bar be dressed in bugari i know that came out in the 2000s but it would still apply it's a little kim a little kim concert i went with the monochromatic look okay i go with pink because she is the black barbie dressed in bugari okay i'm gonna keep saying that you can't sit just say black barbie you gotta say the whole thing black barbie dressed in bugari okay i wear this pink feathered strapless dress and then i pair some pink sunglasses to go with it you know obviously a nod to the crush on you music video and then i'd have some barbie earrings on again black barbie just lugari and i'd wear like a pink tennis bracelet along with a ring to match it and then i carry like this cute little like balenciaga pink bag it's very bar barbie vibes i know it'd be for balenciaga but for this, it would be B for Barbie. And then I'd wear a pair of like fuchsia 
platform strap up heel to top it off a wig can be an accessory and in this case the wig is an accessory i wear my hair just like this over here in the left hand corner you know half up with a swoop and then half down but it will 100 percent be a wig because i'm not bleaching my hair it's not happening all right next i gotta go to miss missy misdemeanor elliot um so when i was thinking about this outfit I definitely knew I was going to have like a graphic shirt, but I knew I needed something like metallic. For the top, I would wear this like graphic welcome to the future top because y'all know when we were in the 1990s, Missy Elliott was like in the 2090s. Like that woman's mind is not here. It's, it's somewhere else. It's beyond our reach. We just get to take a peek of where she lives. For the pants, I want like this pair of like leopard straight leg pants. And then over the shirt, I'd wear this like metallic long sleeve top. And then for accessories, I have, of course, you know, it's the 90s, so I had to throw a bucket hat in here. I wore this like faux fur black bucket hat. And then a small pair of silver huggy earrings and a black tattoo choker. And I did own one of those when I was little as well. I wore this little green crossbody bag. And then I finish everything up with a pair of black one star platform sneakers we gotta go to the late great Aaliyah y'all yeah. does anyone else talking about Aaliyah like it makes you like geeked but also like sad at the same time Ugh. Mm. anyway and just want to know I feel like Aaliyah is one of the most underrated dancers when it comes to like the entertainment industry I know we all talk about Miss Janet, which we should. She's the queen. I know we talk about Sierra, which we should. She's a queen. But I feel like Aaliyah gets left out in the mix and she shouldn't. Like, she is, oh, I keep saying it is, she was a phenomenal dancer. Like, the way she would move is so effortless. It's like moving through water. It's just, like, so fluid, like, a girl had skill. I'm sure there were people who would say, oh, the moves are easy. No, they look easy because she's just that good. I went with this oversized overalls that have like an army fatigue going on in it, and the stitching is, has orange in it. So I thought I'd wear like an orange bandeau top. I know people call them crop tops now, whatever, but whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I wore this orange strapless crop top underneath the overalls. And then for shoes, I'd wear a pair of Nike Air Force One, but with orange details. And then for the accessories, I'd wear an orange headband. And I would, of course, wear my gold nameplate, which, yes, that is actually my real gold nameplate. I'll have it on today. The Black Girl Rite of Passage right here is a nameplate, and this is mine. So I'd wear that. I'd wear my nameplate and a bunch of other gold necklaces layered on top of it have a bunch of gold bangles on my arm and of course I'd wear a pair of gold hoop earrings I don't need a handbag because that's what all the pockets are for in the overalls and you already know who I gotta do next mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about do you know have you figured it out you don't know okay it's Janet Miss Jackson if you know me I know that's 80s I know that's 80s but that's okay that's still one of my favorite songs Y'all, I love Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson was the first artist that I was just so enamored with. Like, I love Janet Jackson. And I should because she's a legend, an icon. The blueprint, in my opinion, for the modern day pop star. Okay, she's the queen of pop. I'm not arguing with people about who else they think is the queen of pop. You're entitled to your very wrong opinion. Miss Janet Jackson is the queen of pop. So thank you very much. Good night. So for the outfit, I'd wear these like overall trouser pants that have pinstripes going in them. And they have the uh, suspenders attached to them. And a white crop top underneath it. And then I'd wear a pair of like platform, I guess this would be called like Oxford shoes in black. Some black crew socks to go with it. And for the rest of the accessories, I'd have, have a black beret, have some key drop earrings, and then some black circle lens sunglasses. And I'd wear like a thumb ring that has black accents in it, and then like a basic silver ring. 
and then a mini black backpack. And now we gotta go to girl, one of the best girl groups ever, TLC. Now, Left Eye was always my favorite, but the thing what I loved about TLC is like there was no like leader. You know what I mean? Like there was no one person I feel that was always being pushed to the front. I like that everyone got their own time to shine. I feel like everyone had their favorite. Like I knew people, but oh, people, child, you were like five. But I knew like kids and stuff, they'd be like, oh, well, my favorite T Boss, or my favorite Shuli, or my favorite Left Eye. Like I feel like it was equal. I, it never felt like the T Boss show or the Chili show or the Left Eye show. I just felt like they were all like a group, which I really loved. I have a oversized hoodie with a bunch of like character details on it, very colorful. I know I couldn't let this in without some baggy ripped jeans, so I'd have those on. And then a pair of Beli sneakers that have feature colors that are similar to the ones in the hoodie. And then for the earrings, I'd have a pair of a pair of bamboo nameplate earrings that say baby girl in them. I'd have on some bobos in two different colors. I have a bobo in pink and I have a bobo in purple and I wear my hair like in like pigtails and y'all trying to find bobos online was hard for me because I didn't know what people really called them. Like I always grew up calling them bobos and then underneath I forgot to mention underneath the hoodie I wear this like metallic neon sports bra that has all these different rainbow colors in them because when I get hot at the concert not if but when I'm gonna have to take it off and wrap it around my waist and I still want to be cute to approach the last group I'm gonna talk about in this video and that's gotta be Backstreet Boys y'all remember that episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch that Backstreet Boys was on a lot of people were on Sabrina Backstreet Boys, Sabrina, RuPaul. I'm sure there's more than that. Those are just the ones that are coming to my mind right now. What a time to be alive. All right. And so I wear this red graphic t-shirt and this like utility cargo white skirt, which was not easy to find. I had to go to eBay because I'm like, this is a very 90s specific item, like very 90s, 2000s specific item. I had to come through with some Skechers sneakers that are platform. But have those and then for my accessories you know i'm gonna have to have a watch because we don't have cell phones well it depends it was late 90s people had like nokia's i remember playing snake on my sister's phones red jelly watches and i wear a simple ball chain necklace and for my hair i would have on a red hair clip and then it's the 90s so i'd of course have my mood ring and then i'd wear an ear cuff and then I'd wear some cute little star earrings for the bag. I'd wear like this like nylon yellow crossbody bag. And I would put some like different like pop culture reference buttons on them. So on here, you probably can't see it because it's so small. I have a Backstreet Boys pin, of course. And I have a Buffy the Vampire Slayer pin on here. As well as As If, which we know is from Clueless. So yeah, just to get a general idea of what I would put on there. All right, y'all. So that is it. I am done. I know you're probably thinking, where's where's in sync? Where's Maya? Y'all, there are so many groups, like I said earlier in this video, that I wanted to pick, but if I picked them, I would be here for hours. So I might do a 90s part two, and I was thinking of doing like a 2000s one, but I'm not I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know if I'm that invested yet. I don't like to make certain videos if I'm not like really, really invested in them. So I might make a part two of the 90s one and maybe a 2000s one. I probably make the 2000s one before I make a part two of the 90s one. Okay, now I'm rambling. Ugh. And that's going to be all doll face. Uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Um, and in your comments, tell me, let's see. If you were a, like an adult or a teenager in the 90s, um, what was your favorite concert you went to? If you were like myself and were too young to go to concerts in the late 90s, what concerts would you have wanted to go to? And if you didn't even exist in the 90s, let me know what concerts you would have wanted to go to if you were around then. Yeah, that's it.
I'm gonna go. My stomach is starting to rumble and I've got a rumbly in my tumbly and it's time to eat. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a dreamy day. Bye.